What up, Fabski? This is your, this is New Bedford's friendly neighborhood resident Portuguese thick boy Eric Lim here, coming at you with another episode, video episode from my secondary YouTube channel, in which I present to all of you my sentimental thoughts come from my heart and my soul, and my mental oddball shenanigans come from my mind and brain. This is EML77 TV, episode 930, episode 130. Get these thumbs. Let's go, we're going back down to Kenover, the late great Kenover's basement, hanging out with Colin, Kari, Steve, and all the gang. Remote control. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. We're gonna. Oh, wait, wait. Let's do this. And uh, and up uh, again. Yo, give me. Uh, give me my cool. Um, give me my cool. Uh, select. Um, Freddy. Let's go and. Uh, uh, e. Let's go. Oh, 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 I, I see the R, and I, let's go, H, I, A, B, C, we're doing this thing, let's, let's do this, once again, remote control, facing contestants, and they're all guys, oh, look at the guy in the middle, with the, okay, let's, let's go over to lucky number seven, odd couple, Oscar invent, invested in barnacle glue to make easy money. What was the glue's only shortcoming? It didn't stick when it dried. It cost a thousand dollars job. It couldn't be a mass produce. Let's try. It couldn't be. Up. Oh, I thought it couldn't be mass to produce. Okay. I think it's the first one. It didn't stick when it dried. I didn't watch much hard, Odd Couple, but that's what I get. Out of it. Okay. Mike's got five. Mike's got five points. Is he going to stick with the Odd Couple or what? He's going to stick with Odd Couple, okay, for 10 points. Of the following, what is not the name of one of Felix's kids, Mark and Leonard? I think, I think it was Mark. I got 10 points. I'm on the board. All right. Uh, I think since I'm on a roll, let's close out um, Odd Couple, shall we? What actor played a sleazy filmmaker on The Odd Couple, but it is better known as Gomez Adams... Of the Adams family, I know that one. John Aston. He also played the Riddler in Batman for a season. So I got 25 points on the board here. Here we go. Uh, let's go to Channel 9. What we got here? Oh, oh my God. I lose 10. You're not entering another dimension, one in which you'll be losing 10 points, but picking up this valuable prize. What do I, here's the perfect gift for everyone on your shopping list. Genuine plastic mood rulers. Each color indicates a different mood, and they're gu guaranteed not to break. With these fabulous mood rulers, your next bad mood will only last a couple of inches. No comment on that last part, but I lose 10 points off that. I still have the lead, though. All right, let's, channel, let's try Channel 8, then. Prime time. Michael Gross and Meredith Baxter Burney play husband and wife on what show? Growing Pains, Family Ties, Webster. Come on. Come on. That's a gimme. I know that show. At least, okay, I got five points back, and let's take a prime time, shall we? Give me 20 points, uh, 15 points, 10 points. And it's Gary Shandling's show. What phrase appears on Gary's license plate? It's Gary Shandling's car. It's Gary's lousy car. It's Gary Shandling's and it's Gary Shandling's car. No kidding. That's the obvious answer. That answer was so good it made me all feel warm and tingly inside. Okay, I got thirty points. I want to close this channel out. Close this channel out. Prime time worth fifteen points. Are the following: Who is not a regular correspondent on sixty minutes? Harry Reasoner, Dan Rather, Ed Bradley. I think it was. Dan Rather has got his own CBS uh, Evening News. I remember that. So, okay. All right. Um, let's try. Let's go to Channel 1, uh, Channel 2, Saturday Night Live. Here we go. What lovable family of aliens distributed mass quantities of fried eggs and beer to the trick-or-treaters at their door? The Samurai Warriors, the Killer Bees, the Coneheads. It's the Coneheads. It's the Coneheads. 50 points. I am in the lead. And I will stick with Channel 2. Saturday Night Live. Jorge and Yortark were two wild and crazy guys from Czechoslovakia. Who played them? Steve Martin, Dan Aykroyd. Steve Martin and Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase and Jim Belushi. I think I answered this question yesterday, didn't I? 
on on the show. What was one dandy cerebellum you got there? I have a dandy cerebellum. <laughs> 60 points, and I'm going to uh, close it out. Saturday Night Live, here we go. Which one of the not ready for time primetime players has the same name as a town in Maryland? Chevy Chase, Martin Short, Nora Dunn. I think it was No, it's not Nora Dunn. Oh, Chase Maryland. Chase Maryland. That means Freddie will get on the board. Ugh, come on. You idiot. Who's Chevy Chase? Third year freshman, are we? That's the first time. <laughs> uh, I suck at that one. Okay, that channel is closed out. I knew it would be. Okay, I meant to do uh, channel one. I meant to, reruns. Here we go. On the Honeymooners, what household item does Norton try selling when he gets fired from the sewer? Steam irons, vacuum cleaners, clothesline. I believe it was. Nope, it's not vacuum cleaners. I thought that would be it. Steam irons? I never watched much of the Honeymooners. Oh, he's on the board. Five points. Yeah, you know, it's the best for remote control contestants are usually the weirdest looking. Yeah. All right, so Freddy's on the board, tied with Mike for five points. All right, see if he's, he's going to stick with reruns. Okay. On the Honeymooners... When Ralph makes his own costume for a masquerade party, people mistakenly assume he's a pinball machine. What was Ralph supposed to be? A futuristic bus driver? A deep sea diver? A man from space? I believe a man from space, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you just said that, Ken. All right, here we go. All right, um, let's, uh... Okay, I'm going to close out reruns. Let's see if I can do that. On I Love Lucy, which one of, Mar of the Marx Brothers did Lucy try impersonating her uh, during her trip to Hollywood? Car I believe it was Harpo. It was Harpo because she's got a big mouth sometimes. 85 points. And, okay, uh, let's try Channel 3. Black and White TV. Let's go back to the golden age of black and white television. Let's see what we got here. Complete this phrase from the Twilight Zone. You're traveling through another dimension. Not only of sight and sound, but of what? Mind. Hmm. So, are we related to Einstein or something? 90 points. All right, I'm going to go to Channel 4. Stand away from Black and the Cartoon Channel. There you go. These are characters about characters that tell jokes, fall off, clips, talk funny, and Jeremy behaving silly. I wish we silly. I wish we all could. Name Archie's snobby nemesis was after Veronica and Betty, but has to watch as Archie steals their hearts. Reggie Mantle, Baby DiMaggio, Reggie Mantle. That one answer was so good, maybe fall, feel all warm and tingly inside. 95. Up, oh, time's up. That's only it for round one. That can only mean snack break time. And, ooh, give me some popcorn. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Uh, now for a quick commercial break. Nintendo, now you're playing with power. I always wanted to say that. All right, I did my commercial break. All right, let's round, round, round two. Remember, all the point values have been doubled now. All right, I'm in control. Let's go to Channel 5. Let's see what we can get. The Brady Network. We don't need Tom Brady for the Patriots either. Which Brady kid had a lisp? Oh, come on. Cindy Brady. 105 points. 105 points. Uh, I'll stick with the Brady Network there, Ken. Let's see. All right, the Brady Network. According to the reunion movie, the Brady girls get married. Alice and her longtime meat cutting beau are now happily married. What what's up with your first name? Come on. Sammy Sam. Mr. Sam. Must have been performing and throbbing to pull off the answer. Nah. It's just a matter of time. Okay, 125 points. Let's close out the Brady Network, Ken. 
see what we'll come up with this time. Which Brady once got smashed up nose thanks to a football in the face? Marsha. Ew, my nose! <laughs> Everybody knows that one. 155 points. If this show was still on... Okay, um, let's try Channel 6. Still more prime time. On 30-something, name the college professor who looks like Bjorn Borg. Um, let's try Gary. Oh, that was a guess. I never watched 30 something, to be honest with you. All right. But the good news is I can still stick with prime time. Uh, still more prime time. A former son of the Ponderosa now motors around bring, now motors around bringing ten, uh, tis, tears. Um, I, I only, Michael Landon recently starred a Sappy Angel on what, on what series? Huh? Highway to Heaven. I couldn't even read that question. I knew what the question was. Sorry about that. I'm going to close out still more prime time because that... Blah, blah, blah. All right, here we go. On the show, Matlock, what was Matlock's first name? I think it was John. No, it was not John. Oh, Ben. It had to be Ben. It had to be Ben. Mike, Mike's going to get it. Mike's going to get it. Uh, yeah, it was Ben. Ugh. I thought it was John for some weird reason. Uh, I'm not all that. I'm not all depressed. Four, channel four, channel number five. Once they had to look beautiful, now they had to memorize all those big words. These are models turned actors. Chanel number five. What former model won an Oscar for her role in the film Prizzy's Honor, which her father, John Huston, directed? Um. Angelica Huston. Or Houston. All right. Do I just want to stick with the lovely ladies turned actresses? Yes, I do. Chanel number five. What model became the last beauty to join that stimulating female trio? Charlie's Angels. Shelly Hacked. Uh, I believe it was Cheryl Ladd. No! Tanya Roberts! Dang it! I thought... I thought Cheryl Ladd did join. It was Tanya Roberts. Mike's getting some points here. Channel 3. The Bewitched Channel. Maurice was which, which character's natural father? Samantha Stevens, Larry Tate, Darren Stevens, I believe. Uh, it, had to, it had to be Samantha Stevens. There's no doubt about it. Hey, nice answer and nice hair. Thank you, Ken. I had it cut not too long ago. 205 points. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back and try to close out um, Chanel number five. What Gap Tooth Beauty starred opposite Burt Reynolds in Malone and Gator? Lauren Hutton. Lauren Hutton. Dolly Parton had the you know what, and Sally Field was just cute. Was just cute back in the day. 235 points. Do I want to go back to Bewitched? Let's go back to the Bewitched channel. Let's see what I come up with. Here we go. On Bewitched, he was arrested for assaulting a cop, but he was first known as the father of our country. Name him. George Washington. And I am so kicking butt. But somebody's going to go off the air. And that would be Freddy in the middle. Let's, uh... Close, I got to close out Bewitched Channel. I can do that. Name the actress who played Orson Welles' mother in Citizen Kane and Samantha Stevens' mom in Bewitched. Agnes Moorhead, Dame Judith Anderson. Uh, Agnes Moorhead. I hate to say it. No, I'm not going to say that. Agnes Moorhead. Uh, draw your own conclusions, folks. Gilligan's Island. Gilligan's Island. Gilligan practices a musical instrument which a neighboring tribe interprets as a call for war. What instrument did Gilligan play? The flute? The drums? I believe it was the drums. It, 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 that's, usually, that's usually we play the drums. 295 points. Do I want to stick? Uh, let's go. Gilligan's Island again. Which one of the castaways does the professor think is most beautiful? Gilligan, Marianne, had to be uh, Gil had to be Marianne. She is pretty cute. Don Wells back in the day. She hey, nice answer, nice hair. 
I get 315 points. Yeah, I do. I am going to close out Channel 2. Gilligan's Island, see if I can pick up a... Usually, who did Gilligan always caddy for? The Professor, Ginger, or Mr. Howell? I believe Mr. Howell. Ah, 345 points. Channel 1. Mary Tyler Moore. Mary was red hot, but she was certainly picked a frostbitten state to live in. Name it. Minnesota. Minneapolis is a city in Minnesota. 350 points. 55 points. Uh, let's, uh, let's go and Mary Tyler Moore again. When Phyllis got her own series, what city did she move to? I believe... Oh, and it wasn't Chicago. It had to be San Francisco. Oh, Freddy, that could cost him in the end. Mike? San Francisco. That'd be one of those two cities. All right, we got six channels that have already been closed out, so... 75 points. Eh. All right, let's see if... Uh, uh-oh. Freddy? Five points. Gone. Goodbye. 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 Lightning strikes like bullseye, you lose. Goodbye, Freddy. Five points. Zap him up. Zap him up. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Another one bites the dust. Um. Ah, uh, okay. Lightning round. Think real fast. What's today? For points, for the points, complete the names of these cartoon characters. That should be simple. Gonzalez, Fudd, Leghorn, Badenoff, Boost, Pig, Duck, Placido, or Porky Pig. Oh, Tennessee. Uh, fog on. Yes, Sammy. And 425 points. 105. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm pretty good at this game. All right, that's it, all the time we have on this show. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Episode 930 of EML 37 TV. Episode 130 of Get These Thumbs. More remote control. I'm the champ once again. Colin, Kari, give me a call. If the remote control comes back, I want to be on the show. And show everyone how it's done. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll see you guys later. Guys, have a wonderful night. And uh, blessings and go Dodgers. Bye.